All right, friends, hello. Um, hope everybody had a good day yesterday. Today's lesson, I'm going to try to make it quick, um, but I am gonna go over at least two examples for this to make sure that we understand it because there will be two types of problems like these on your homework for tonight or on your assignment for today. Um, so I wanna make sure that we cover all of our bases. Um, today's lesson is about finding the, or finding missing data given the mean or the average. So I'm gonna give you the average of a bunch of tests or quizzes minus one of the actual data points. So I know that sounds kind of confusing, but we'll go over it. So our first example is a word problem. The times for movies playing in theaters are 50 minutes, 78 minutes, 160 minutes, 46 minutes, 85 minutes, 120 minutes, and 65 minutes. That is seven different movies. If the mean or average time for eight movies is 95 minutes, what would the time for the eighth movie be? So let's back it up. We are dealing with movie times, how long these movies play. Um, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movies times listed so far. However, the question is asking, what would the eighth movie, this is important, what would the eighth movie be? How long would that eighth movie be? But we only have seven. So the eighth movie is what we're looking for. Okay, so let's make a little chart. We've got movie and time. I'm just gonna do M and T. So our first movie is 50 minutes. The second movie is 78 minutes. Our third movie is 160 minutes. The fourth movie is 46 minutes. I don't know why, I just wrote a seven. The fifth movie is 85 minutes. The sixth is 120. The seventh is 65. And we don't know what the eighth is. So the eighth is going to be a question mark because that's what we're looking for. We are looking for what the eighth movie would be. Information we know. We know we've got all these movie times. We don't know the eighth, but we know that the average for eight movies is 95 minutes. So the average for all eight movies is 95 minutes, but we only have seven movies. Uh, movies there. So let's go back to what we talked about yesterday. Okay, to find the mean, you add up all your numbers, add up all your numbers, and you divide by how many there are, how many data points there are. Okay, in this case, we have eight data points, right? So we're going to add all of these up and divide by eight but we're missing one. So this is how we're gonna do it, okay? First, you need to add up what you know. So we know the first seven movies. So the first seven movies, when you add them together, you would get, give me a second, Got to type this in my calculator. 50 plus 78 plus 160 plus 46 plus 85 plus 120 plus 65 equals. 
So this would give us a grand total of 604. Okay. So we've got 604. We found the total for our first um, seven. But do I need to know the average time for the first seven? No, because I'm looking for the first eight. So let's hold on to that number for now. Okay. Let's go back to what we talked about yesterday. Um, to find the average, you add up all these numbers and divide by how many there are. We know that there's eight numbers, but do we know the total for what all eight would be? We know seven, but we don't know eight. Okay. So since we don't know the total for all eight movies, we're going to call that X. It's going to be our variable. Okay. To find that the mean though, we would do X. So that's our total divided by how many data points there are. And here we have eight. So X divided by eight would give me an average of 95 because that's what the word problem told me. The word problem told me the average time for eight movies is 95. So this is something we learned earlier this year and that we reviewed a little bit um, last week, a one-step equation. So the way you solve this one-step equation is you divide it up because we're trying to make it equal on both sides. We do the inverse operation. We are doing division here, so the inverse would be multiplication. You're going to multiply both sides by 8. These cancel out. We bring down what we know. X equals 95 times 8. 95 times 8 would give us 760. So what this number is telling us is that X is 760. So the total for all eight movies would be 760. So now we have the total for all eight movies and we have the total for all seven movies. So the way we find this missing data point right there, the way we're gonna find the value of that question mark is we take the sum of all eight movies and subtract the sum of just the seven movies. So 760 minus 604 would give me 156. So this 156 actually goes right here and now our chart's complete. We've answered our question. That eighth movie is 156 minutes long. Okay. So this is one way that you would see these types of problems given to you. You need to find the total of what you have, create a one-step equation with the average that's given to you using a variable. This one-step equation represents you trying to solve for the mean or the average. You solve that one-step equation and it will give you the total for all of your data points. Then you subtract that total from your original total to get that missing data point. So that's the first way. Now give me a second while I reset and I will show you the other way that we could see these types of problems given and the way that one of them will be um, on your assignment today. All right. So the other way that you can see these given is written like this. Just a list of numbers, so a data set.
with a variable at the end, a semicolon, and it will tell you that the mean equals a number. Then it will say find x. Okay. So this is the second way that you could see these types of problems given to you. We're doing the same thing here. We're trying to find our missing data point. If you like using the chart, like we did in the last problem, you can definitely make a chart just like we did. I'll make one real quick so you can use it as a reference if you want. So we'll just. So this is a second way that you can see these problems given. Uh, you will give it. You'll be given a list of numbers, including a variable. It'll give you a mean and it'll ask you to find X. So we're still doing the same thing here. We're finding a missing data point given the mean. So I'm giving you the mean of what all of these points would be without this point. And we've got to figure out what that is. So if you like making the chart like we did before, you can make one over here and you can label it however you want. Um, I'm just saying that the number is, this is my first data point and the number is 75. 2 is 85, 3 is 100, 4 is 52, 5 is 65, and 6, we don't know. So I put a question mark. If you like using the chart, you can definitely use the chart just like we did in the last problem. Um, if you don't though, that's totally fine too. So what we're doing is adding up everything that we have. We're trying to get that first total and put it aside so that later we can use it to subtract. So what you need to do now is add up those numbers. So 75 plus 85 plus 100, plus 52, plus 65. So this data right here, the stuff that we know is a total of 377. Okay, so these numbers are 3 77. That's the total of the first five numbers. But we need to know and we need to figure out what this one is. Okay, so we actually have a total of six data points. And we're wanting to know what the average of six data points is or what we know what the average of those six data points are. It tells us that the mean, the average is 78. So to find the mean, you set up that one step equation with the mean after your equal sign. So we know that the mean, the average is 78, but in order to find the mean, we have the total of all six of these numbers. Do we know the total of all six numbers? No, we only know the total of five. So we put that as y. We'll use this as y because we've got an x up here. But we know that we're going to divide the total by how many data points there are. We don't know the sixth, but we're including it here. So we're going to divide our total by six. This is where we solve that one-step equation. So to solve a one-step equation, we divide our problem in half because we want to make it equal on both sides. Okay? We do the inverse operation. We're dividing, so the inverse of that would be multiplication. We're gonna multiply on both sides, but that cancels out. We bring down things that we did not use. So y equals 78 times six, which is 468. So now we know the total of all eight, or all six, excuse me, all six data points is 400 and 68. So now that I have both of these totals, I can find that missing data point. And I find that missing data point by subtracting 468 minus 
377, which would give me one. I cannot do six minus seven, so you borrow. This turns into 16. 16 minus seven is nine, three minus three is zero. So we're left with 91. So the sixth data point is 91. So that is the second way that you will see a problem written for finding the mean or finding a missing data point given the mean. If you need to re-watch this video to take notes or re-watch it while you're working on your homework, I highly recommend that. Um, if you weren't taking notes while watching this video, I also recommend you go back and um, take some notes, jot these down somewhere for future reference. Um, we will be having a skills check over this stuff on Friday, but for now, I'll see you guys later.